Welcome. In this brief tutorial, we are going to look at how to add a custom font to your processing project. And it is pretty straightforward. So what we have to do is we have to create a variable to hold a reference to that font. We have to create font from our font file. Now we put the font file itself in our project folder in a folder called data. So the same folder is the one where we will put images, sounds, and fonts that we're using in a project. So it can be a TTF or OTF format with that. So we don't have to create anything special. We just make the font file. This font file, this font is not loaded on my computer. So it's not like I'm taking advantage of using something that's already installed on my machine. So what I do is I say 8-bit font, that's the variable name, create font, and now with that create font, I am referencing that file. Notice we do have to put the file type extension .ttf. Now the size, it's going to make one version of the font at that size, but we can certainly make it bigger or smaller as we use it in our project. So we will see in the example where I did make it bigger, I bumped it up to 96 when I actually used it. So after putting the font in the font folder, step one. Step two, variable, it's a P font. The P and the F are both capitalized, so it's processing font, that's what it stands for. Just like images, it will be processing image. So P font, create font. We do that with our font. Then we say text font, this is where we reference the font we're using. So if we did load multiple fonts, we would store them in multiple P font variables. We'd use create font for each one of them. And then we could swap fonts by saying text font and referencing the font that we've chosen. After that, it's the same as using text in our project that we've already done. So we can see this is how it turns out. So good luck and have fun.